Dragonite once in the tournament, but that was about it. So yeah, something new, something a little bit exciting, a little bit to get excited about. Last game for the group stages, your whole Sephiroth VJ casting for Proto the Cup EU. We're doing a C tournament, and this is the last game of round robin. We are going to have Brave Boys on the Radiant Epsilon Lycos on the Dire this time round, and as well as a customary start game pause. It won't be a C game if there are no pauses. Yeah. <laughs> Rave on the Radiant, the Filipino boys. You're going to see Fly Solo on the Silencer bowing down, as well as Morphing being played by Abing. X is going to be played by Dave. Then we've got Dragon Knight played by Kevs as well as Earth Spirit being played by Thames. I've seen Thames play Earth Spirit before, honestly, and I'm really excited to see him on the Hero again because he does a really, really kick ass Earth Spirit. I like he's on point with everything he does on it. He never misses a single spell and he never misses any stunts or like silences or his ultimates. His movements are really darn good as well. So he knows what he's doing with his hero. So we will keep an eye out for him in the game and see how he gets along this time round. Well, as for Lycos, yeah, on the Beastmaster. They've got Yabish playing the Oracle, followed by Nando on the Juggernaut, while well, you've got Doom being played by Eris. And there's one guy remaining. I don't know where he is. Might be taking a crap. It's gonna be P, their mid player, waiting for their It. The breath was too fast for me. I wasn't fierce enough for it. God, I feel like I'm ready. <laughs> well, uh, it seems to be an extended pause. I wanted to tell a story, but my co caster is not here. So I don't know if it will be fun enough. But yeah, okay, I'll keep the stories for tomorrow. We're gonna have a lot of pauses tomorrow, for sure, because we're doing best of trees and we're gonna have some in game or between in pauses too. So we're gonna have like a lot of entertainment planned for you guys. We're gonna like really pull out all the stops. The thing is, uh, some people were hating on me, but they don't realize that I'm coming back to casting after nearly like a year and a half or nearly two years. I didn't cast, I was just like reading all the time, to be honest. Well, I do sound Asian, so yeah, well, my genes were coming into play there. So I was like just spending my time reading, and I read a lot, and I barely spoke. So all my like speaking skills were totally gone. But yeah, uh, I'm com coming back, and hopefully, we'll entertain you quite a lot tomorrow. So do tune in again. We'll start at 16 SGT, that's 9 or 10 in the morning for Europeans. And we still don't have this last guy. Oh god, Jesus, where is he? Where are you, P? Where are you? P is a really weird player in the sense that he kind of loses his lane, but then he farms and he comes back. I haven't really seen him dominate a lane yet. Oh, I think only one time that I saw him do that. But apart from that, he hasn't really dominated many lanes. He gets dominated, but then he comes back, so I think they're happy with him being a bit on a weak side and then coming back and playing like that. And there we go. I hope he's got Puck. I hope he's got Puck, because that's what I remember he's got. Yep, there we go. Okay. Okay. I wasn't too stupid to remember that he's got Puck. So he's got Puck, and the last player is back. There we go. Xbox. Usual. But... Well, Tim's gonna beat them to the punch. He's already towards the mid lane, pulling a very deep end ward. Where does he want to put it? Well, blocking the camp. I think he wants the Doom to not farm well. That's why they're gonna do that. Is it gonna block though? Not sure. No, it's not gonna block. It's just gonna give vision. Okay, so he's doing it for ganks. He's not doing it for blocking. Now, I think he's thinking that maybe it's going to be the Doom bringer there and, uh,. He's scouting off for his team, the smoke pop. And Nando going right into him. This might be bad for him. Tim and cut it out. B. Oh right, he's in the middle of it. Tim, what did you do, mate? I was hyping you up and you do this to me. Ugh. Ends up falling to P. That's the first blood for Lycos. 30 seconds to battle. Yeah. Well, he's moving in deep. Oh actually that's his base. 
<laughs> it's not going anywhere. It's just going back to his lane. So let's check out the lanes. How are the laning is on Rave? They've got Morphling on a safe lane from the looks of it. Yeah, he's gonna go for a raid band. I think it's gonna be a support balancer. They are gonna put Axel and Jungle for now. They're gonna leave off lane all alone. The Dem's gonna be playing begins. the Earth Spirit. He'll be roaming quite a lot while they will have the who will they have made? The DK on the mid lane being played by Caps. While for Aston like us, how are the laning the well, P is their mid player, so he's playing Puck. He's gonna be mid. Ares is their support, so it's a support Doom or maybe a jungle Doom, most likely. Well, yeah, just gonna be on that offlane Beastmaster going up against Abing. I think Abing is gonna have a tough time against the Beastmaster because of the boar. Someone is really going to annoy him quite a bit. Well, up top. Chegonaut, as well as Oracle, are gonna have a free lane. They're not gonna contest it. Or contest against anyone. Mid lane. Last hit twice. Yeah, two to one. Caps taking a bit of a beating against the puck. So seems like B is finally ready to win the lane here. But well that's what you kind of expect coming up Dragon Knight. He takes a lot of harass early on. And yeah, outplaying the silencer denying his own boar. So strange. Have some mercy. Oh, this might be it. Yeah, it might be in trouble. They're getting hit by the boulder. Dry clicks are coming out. Abing does not have a waveform to get up close and personal to the Peacemaster. So, no kissy kissy there. He's gonna just sell up and be right back. And they're pulling in someone. Seems like it's going to be Aris joining them. He's got a stun up. So well, that's something you don't see every day. There's the first stun. Yes, doing a fair amount of damage. Deny the boulder, man. I don't know why he was hesitating, but yeah, gets a boar. Down mid, caps, caps, he's fine, he's fine. Oh, Dave, two minutes in, he's level three, and yeah, he's not really too lucky with the spins here, I guess. That's why he's only level two, usually you see access being a little bit higher level. And all of my friends in the chat, Dave's gonna just suicide there. There we go. Oh, this might be big. Oracle just grabs himself a haste rune. Where does he want to go? I think they want to go mid. They're coming in from the back. The caps is fairly healthy. I find it a little bit hard for him to be able to bring him down. Or, okay, he might just go and mess with Dave. At post. Yeah, I think that's what he's gonna do. No, okay. Okay, P was trying to bait in Kev's towards the rune. But, yeah, Kev's is having none of it. Radiant we'll just back away and bottom lane. Oh god, I missed that kill onto the Doombringer. He was playing a little bit too aggressive and ends up dying to fly solo and upping as well as Dimps. And now they're boarding up. Gonna leave some EXP. And, uh, man, he makes me hungry every single time I say his name. That's why I don't really like to say his name. He reminds me of chicken. Denied. I don't know if you guys have Nando's there, but Nando's is a chicken chain chicken chain here. You can get some chicken from Nando's, it's pretty spicy, they've got good sauces and everything. So yeah, it's a pretty delicious place to go. But it's a bit on the pricey side, so you don't really go there all the time. Three to eight. Then come twenty two to zero. Abing isn't having such a bad time as you would expect against a Beastmaster. Oh, might be due to the fact that the Phantom is supporting the hell of him on the side as well as our spirits and he's a fair amount of damage too, so he's pretty confident on that Morphling. Ah, oh, Dave. Dear Dave. He's just running away. I think that should be his Tranquil Storm. Yeah, that should be his Tranquil Stun. There we go. Easy Tranquil's easy life. Cavs on the mid lane. He's just farming up too, so uh, not much aggression. And okay, a little bit of a skirmish in the river. Blood's gonna flow, but river's gonna be still. Well, whatever. Sun signs are falling. I think he actually denied himself. No, Doom actually killed him, okay. I don't expect it. 
And then, oh, he's making some plays here. Yes, my gentleman. Well, gives us done. Well, and uh, bringing him down. That. that oh, mid lane, mid lane, mid lane. Like us, be in trouble. The orb is out, but he does have a lot of one shot. This. You know, a second. He's got himself some regen, infused rain drop as well as the very fire to get back up to halt. Bottom lane again, once again. Aris, I, I wonder what the Doom is doing here to go. I mean, yeah, sure, he got a kill. But wouldn't it be better to just put the Doom in the jungle and keep him farming up? That's gonna be invaluable going up later on in the game against, say, the Morphling. I don't really see the point in having Doom help out on the bottom lane. I think Gadge is doing fairly good. He can also jungle on the back end as well, and they're not really punishing Morphling. As you guys can see, he's got 30 last hits and two denies on Juggernaut has 37 in the top lane. And speaking of Juggernaut in the top lane, they're diving in a bit deep on today. Dave's gonna join in. There's a slow Nando putting the heal on the back. That's gonna deter Dave as well as Dems from actually diving to get any kills up there. Playing it. They have to play it safe for now. And Nando, silenced, stunned. Dave, can he get the call off? It's a bit too slow. Heal is too much from the board. Mid, hurry down mid. Depends on where you're from. If you're from Australia, then it's down mid or actually up mid. No, I'm confused, and everyone is confused. <laughs> oh, mid lane, pretty uneventful. Buck can't go the dragon that easily anymore because dragon has got his bottle and everything, so he's Gucci, but. Kills might be happening on the bottom lane. Aris throwing the sun onto Fly Solo. Ah, Bing hightailing it out of here, trying to get some damage on off to B, but they will lose this Talenter. Oh, an airplane. Oh, oh, B might be in trouble. Dave is here. Dodges. Where's the Felling Blade? Seems like he left it at home. Dave, my friend. Oh, that's well, fine. Dims is gonna join. I think Dims should have actually gone on to the Juggernaut, sorry, on to the Doom or someone. But, you know, Mobbing's got no mana. That might be why he didn't go. Mid, Kev's, you, you, you can't. <laughs> you can't go on the DK like this. He's really danky and he's very strong. And into the tower. What do you expect? And they're getting a little bit out like on the mid lane. Guess just uh, from bodies walked down and well nothing to see here. <laughs> Bottom lane, Dave getting up, Harris is coming in fast. He wants that kill. When I get stunned up Harvey. Harris, Harris, what are you doing, my friend? Oh god. Harris. Finally down he goes the culling page. <laughs> okay, now he's into two small doom links. Doom Shard, apparently. Okay, so that does happen. I played Doom the other day and I was wondering what will happen if I die, if I have the Golem. And I didn't want to, so I never died <laughs> while having the Golem. But, okay, now I know what happens. Farm wise, let's switch to Bathworth. I think the lanes are pretty much are breaking down soon. Dragon's up at 3500 gold compared to Morphling's 3100. So yeah, the Doom bottom is certainly hurting them. And yeah, bottom lane, Dave cannot get burnt out. Gets the join in. Here comes the Doom man call. They drop the LT onto Abing and Abing. He's just... I think most likely dead. Yeah. Double kill for Eris. Wow. This Doom hurts. Okay, do bottom. Working out for Lycus. So I'm retarded. Fly solo? <laughs> Getting zoned out by Pop. I take that pretty good vision on the side. Good lane. E. Man fighting up against Cavs. But I think Cavs was just playing with him. Top tower been taken down by Nando. That's gonna net him a little bit of more gold and turn him on his merry way to getting a Battle Fury up. Now we saw Battle Fury games on Juggernaut and I haven't seen a single game that Juggernaut has won with a Battle Fury. It's. I don't know, seems much better to go for something else. 
like mantra and stuff to fade off. Oh, that's gonna connect. There's the culling blade. There we go. Kev has to get out of here. Throws on a fire. Kev, fun. Is he surviving this? He actually is. Holy crap, David. Another culling blade to kill for kill off on the buck. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That must have been super, Dyer's super depressed. <laughs> Alright, so he's on the back end. Kinda eyeing the mid lane. Finally, has to come in. Tims is coming in from the side as well. Runs right into him. Okay. Well, again, nothing happened there. There's a blink dagger up on Dave now. Okay. The, bl uh, the blink. Courtesy of the late. In spawn spike blade. So that's up. Radiant's 10 minutes in. Amazing timing. Attack. Now they've gotta kill these two tanky guys. This monster is just dead, like he's deadly and he's tanky. Doom Radiant's is pretty much the same. He's very attack. darn fast with the haste gun and he's just running around. And they might be actually getting ganked. Yeah. Actually it's a two double side gank, like both sides are to gank each other. Yeah, then Aris like the beast must render do one of the bottom players. Like us in trouble. They gonna drop that onto the DK bit off, but on the back end the edge. Let's survive. The ambition of him. Save. Taking a fair amount of damage, but on the back end, man, the spin from Nanda is gonna clean up that Dragon Knight. The Doom. This is not kill him. No, no. I found out Dave too. Double kill. <laughs> Omni slash easy. Kill secured. 20, sorry, 57 gold. Shadow not. Pretty darn fast. So, okay, he's still going for that Battle Fury. Or, well, yeah, it is a Battle Fury. I mean, you, you don't make a Lincoln's on Juggernaut. Even if you do make a Lincoln's, what is it useful for? You gotta ask yourself. Actually, I, I think I know what it's useful for. I think it's against the Dragon Knight, to be honest. The Dragon Knight will go into a Shadow Blade, and the Shadow Blade can be deadly. No. He's going for a Battle Fury. Yeah, that's something which I don't think Lycus has actually considered yet. The Dragon on the mid lane has a pretty good lane, and that's more than you can ask for as a Dragon Knight, to be honest. There's a global. Don't know what it really did. But, yeah. Okay, Puck got out. This safety. Morphling. Joining them on the top lane, Rave. They're grouping up as 4 or 5. Radiant that's early on. That's tower. really early. So, is their grouping gonna net them Radiant anything? I mean, yeah, sure, they've got Dragon Knight, he can push. Dave can catch some people out, but honestly, looking at it, I think Aston Lycan has a faster push of this. They've got, oh, they've got, like, multiple heroes on the map. Who can do a full damage much more quicker? Sure, Dragon is a good pusher, but he's only one guy. Arbing isn't really damaging yet. Okay, there's one. They've lost one tower, though. They might lose this one pretty sure, pretty soon, if they don't come in fast enough. Hmm, blinks are coming out. They see our spirits. There is no blink dagger up on this master, but I don't think he's gonna need it. There goes a scream, Dims. Not long for this world. Down he goes, gonna get cleaned up on the back. And that's what I meant. The vision is so important in professional games. Some teams just don't they ignore Beastmaster, but holy crap, can he be really useful? These hawks are game breaking at times. Amazing things to have. And his building is straight into a Necro 3. So they want to go for a faster push. They know they've got a lot of damage and a lot of burst and a better team fight. So, come on, come on, there we go. Fly is gonna get caught up by Aerith. Not living though. Oh god, that hurt it. Four or five last hits. Sorry, four or five hits. Was enough to kill the silencer. Might have a Roche fight on our hands twice. Like I like going for the Roche, but ah, I am brave. There we go. Inside, there's a nut. Oh, landing on all three. This is huge. One, two, three. <laughs> three dead. Might be even four. Now that's gonna take some damage. Blink the bomb down in one second. There we go. Done. Careful kill. Axe. Almost done. Well, 
Everything was dying. <laughs> That's kind of obvious. There's still a Shadow Blade down now on the Dragonite as well. That is Tile Point, so forget. They were looking very strong, it's suddenly turning it around. Then to that, it is balanced. But who will set it? Oh, she's down. The Aegis is gonna go towards the of Morphling, so that's an additional protective layer he's got. He opted to go for the Dragonlance. He needs that to survive up against Doombringers, too, which he's been falling to quite often. Now that you think about it, I think that it was a bad idea from Beastmaster to go for a straight Necromicron. He could have done a lot better if he had just gone for a Blink Dagger. I mean, the initiation would have been amazing for his team to kill anyone they want to. But yeah, no, that's what he did. Scouting, so they're stacking for Juggernaut. Okay. This might just pay off. The Battle Fury might really pay off here because they're stacking for him. Usually, people are going for Battle Fury, team doesn't stack for him, and uh, then he just falls flat on his face. It's uh, like it's like a principle as a P battle, sorry, but Battle Fury on PA. You get it because you want to accelerate your farm, and for that, you need to have some stuff of the Ancient on the back end and upping. But Final Nando, that is a bait, as far as I can see. But oh, the real fight is on the back end. Dems is gonna get caught out. There goes the global silence. There is the follow up from Puck. Yabish surviving for now. They will not lose one, but I think Puck might be the one in trouble. They're trying to right click him down. One or two might do it, but the slow from the Boreal will allow him to run away. There is one. Oracle's gonna fall on the back side to silencer. And rest of us don't like us. That's gonna fall back. And. Ooh. They are not done yet. Okay, smoking up, going towards the bottom. In they go, they with a nicely timed call, they will get the kill on the handle. Out goes out from Beastmaster, but it's not enough, and he's gonna get right link down too. Dyer's bottom tower. I can't believe that. Outplayed. That's not a total outplay from Rave. Amazing. Amazing strats. They smoked up, sent X on the back, and they got the hook, line, and stinker. Two kills. Really valuable for them. And a tower to boot with an Roshan on, sorry, with an Aegis on the Morphling. I think they can keep pushing if they want to. There's no real way which uh, Rikos can actually defend. Sure, yeah, the Lincoln, sorry, the Coil might be a little bit of a problem, but that's about it. They don't have the global from the Silencer to fight. In the other side, they backed off. They just want to play it safe. Now they s do see this stack though, because that's going to be a point of contest between Lycos and Rave all the time. Then to 13, they see Nando. Um, I think they're starting to get a bit worried about the Juggernaut. Yeah, there we go, there's the call. Oh god, the blade mill damage from Max is just so huge, she's dominating. Level 11. And they see, and they see Edge as well, they're moving in, will they catch him out? Coin for me. Hmm. No. Okay. That might be a bit of a smart move. But the reason for that is, if they go here, what will it do is, it will alert as well like us that this area is for this. So they will devour here, and they will devour here, and they will... Then, you know, keep an eye on this area all the time. Dyer's That's gonna... Is under attack act as a staging point Dyer's for Grave. They're gonna keep looking here and if they see anyone moving here or anyone here then they might use information from that side to gank. That's their plan Why leaving F1 Lycus. And okay, speaking of F1 Lycus, they look ready to fight top. Okay, it missed up. They've got the global. There we go, nicely done. Though on the back end, Dave is in trouble. He's gonna get blown the hell up. Straight off and now the enemy slash getting that kill easy on the silencer. But now in comes Kev, he wants the edge. Oh, Kali's gonna join him as well. They bring down one. I don't think they're gonna get any more. So it's a 2 for 2 trade. On the back end, Aris. They're hunting for Tim. Tim, joking well, got a rolling boulder if he wants to get the hell out of here. And. Uh, does seem like he will reveal himself. Okay. 
Dims. I don't think he's gonna fall to enemies. Maybe. Does seem like it. There we go. <laughs> That's already drawn off skill, but what he did there is he bought a lot of time for Arbing to push down mid tower. That's a mid tower down. Tier 2. That's a big thing, to be honest. Ages is off. He's got 18 gold and the finished of Lincoln Seer. That's a really decent lead for the Morphling. And he's going for a Ghost Scepter into an e blade. That's invaluable when you want to play up against right click lineups like Jarnot. You can just e blade yourself and burst out of easy peasy. Mm. I shall have just a two stack. They need to stack more. I think they need to put the Beastmaster down bot and keep him there for a while and help him or make him stack. Gavs, oh mid lane, fuck, he's gonna get caught out. Uh, the stuff. Dragon Tail Man, 3.25 duration. I think it's the longest stunt in the game, if I'm correct. Though, so don't quote me on that. Do check it out for yourself. But I think it's one of the longest stunts in the game. It's more than enough to bring most of the heroes down. Oh, they got it out, Nando. Oh, the call is gonna go him out. Day the flare. Holy crap. Nando gets all off. Will he get Dave? And he will. Okay. Okay, that was a big kill. Six points. Go for Nando. What does he want to build into? He's getting a mount up. Okay. A mount that's good. It's certainly good. Especially at the silence sort. And there we go, that's finished up. Meanwhile, mid lane, Beastmaster, along with a buddy. Oracle, yeah, bish. That's pulling out. Sorry, just pushing down, sieging the tower, forcing Rave to abandon their push and, you know, try and end this. But, yeah, they've got Kevin Dragon Knight, who isn't really scared of pushing. So, yep. This tower is falling fast. They need to defend this somehow. Don't they? Don't seem like they want to. They're gonna let this go. Wow. This is big. Okay, this is actually really big. They're, le they're letting the towers fall, which are very important to them. This tower is going to allow Raid to control the ancients of the Dire, which in turn means less farm for the Juggernaut, and Juggernaut making that battle fury early on. Ah, that's gonna hurt him now. Because he doesn't have that big or really important place to fight or actually farm anymore that easily. And they even steal this spawn. Okay, smoke gank from S1 Lacus playing. They're making a play here. Uh but who do they want? They will find Dems. It's about who they find. What about who they want? I think they ideally want the silencer or the Dragonite because they're so far ahead. And oh Dragonite's got a BKB, didn't see that before. Okay, so here they Oh, come on, don't do it. Okay, there we go. They don't do the illusion. They figure it out. So that's Gucci. And yeah, oh, they find out Dave. Dodging this and nicely done. There goes the Doom. In comes the Global. Ares in trouble. Now in comes Arbing. Right clicking down. A little bit more back because of the TPS coming out. The Juggernauts. And this is a pretty tough service. I'm dealing with the place, man. Holy crap, though. I end up dying, though. But I think allowed his teammate to get out. That was a two or three minutes turn from the Earth Spirit. Such a team player. Okay. There we go. Nando, Kev, man fighting, Nando's getting it all these for the BKP. Kev going on Eric, Eric taking a ton of damage, so he died, there we go, dunk! Dave is gonna join in the fray, Nando trying to get the hell out of here, he's fine, but there will be a blink coming in any time soon. There we go. Blink, the call, Nando, dunk, dunk, gold kill. I don't like it's like gonna save the rest of their heroes. Beastmaster went down. Uh he's gonna push mid. Um Beast gonna go push it up. It's kind of turning into a weird anti-red game where as for like are the ones pushing the lanes down instead of the Morphling pushing the lanes down. Usually you see more of like a crap from Morphling, but it's kind of doing the opposite here. They're 
pushed this bottom lane quite hard. It's nearly near the tower. Yeah, that's gonna force the Warfling to go back to base. But he's gonna replicate out, so yeah, he can defend and actually go back to fight on the mid lane, where the real fight is gonna begin. And in they go. Okay, teaching the tier 3 mid, Aerith doesn't have the doom to use. So I don't know. Generon is not there either. They're losing this out of alarm with rage. Right here. They tried to figure this thing in. Top 10. Call. Where's the call going on to? Call's going on to the to Beastmaster. Oh god, that's a really big kill. That's a really big kill, and I think this is looking very, very, very bad for us. Unlike they are unable to fight with the Beastmaster down. They don't have a Doom. They don't have enough DPS right now. Dave needs a little bit more mana. Kef needs a little bit more mana as well. If they do get that mana, I I would be horrified to, if I would be like us right now. Okay. Hmm. Surprisingly, Rave got out, even though they are up against the puck with the blink dagger eels. So yeah, I don't know how that happens. Radiance but it does seem like that and some like us are a little bit scared. But no, no, middle lane, turn on that, Gabish. There we go. One more dunk should do it. But there we go. There we go. Double kill. Two done. Career. Don't. Animal at least. I'm calling beta. Ah, Korea down. One proper down. Doom's gonna kill on this lancer. Five is well on. B is running around, but no, oh, Eric might just lose his life. There goes down from Kev's. And Doom is down for the count. Down for 40 seconds. Jack's down for 30. Oracle's down for 15. They have to translate this into a Rex. Should be a Rex, yeah. I think Dave missed the timing. He was thinking of going towards bottom lane and stopping the push, but he was a bit slow. But yeah, there we go. Two new boxes. There's no fortification up. Neither. Nothing they can really do except watch gaps just bang on the towers. And the Rexes. So Rexes are down. B. Kind of feeling powerless. B support. Twice. Bug doesn't seem to really suit him. I mean, he did win the lane, but then he just kind of faded out, to say the least. I saw the team is smoked up. They're running into the Roche pit. We'll go right in. They want the Roche bad. And they need it bad. They've lost their record. And they can't afford to lose the team fight anymore. So, who you give it to? Nando? Nando can survive the game by the zone, to be honest. That's, oh, this might be a bit new. Abing. Okay, or Abing gets a kill with Oracle. And then this gets away too. B seems to have run out of batteries. But, okay, it's gonna make up. And they gathered ages, they put it on to the jug most likely, and. Yeah, we go back to the base. They're scared. It's night time. The spooky scary skeletons are outside. Especially invis skeletons like Dragon Knight. <laughs> Don't want to go up against them. Just notice that Dragon has the bubble with a DD. Oh, that's actually quite big. But what be a right with that? B? B? Oh god, they're gonna catch him out. Is it? Trying to push that wave out, but did with the play from the side coming in, calling him out. And he's down for 50 seconds. DD's up, Alt is up from Dragon Knight whenever he wants to use it. There we go, now we go. Siege time. How do you wanna defend this one? And you even go into well, Aris is kind of face rushing them on the back end. There should be a muffling coming in. There we go. Abin is gonna go on to the Oracle. It's gonna blow him up on the front. Doom is dead. That is gonna get hung up. One more dunk. Take care of that. In comes the ult on today. Holding him in place. Abin will most likely walk away. Ult. Holding him in place from the front. And it's a big team. But they get two. They get three. 
they've lost two already. Can they get three? They didn't get three yet. But Abing man, he's running it around. Kev, he's falling. Abing man fighting. B taking a ton of damage. So I think Abing has no damage left. Yeah, he will end up dying. It's 4 for 3 in the end. That's a godlike streak from Marfling. Going for Duke 1600 gold in the bank. I would not be surprised if he gets up Guardian Greaves at this point. That's gonna help him out a lot. Or even Blade Mail will be fine, I'd say. He's very tanky. 1800 HP yet for level 14 and only a mech. I mean, yeah. He's really tanky. So, Blade Mail might help. Or, you know, Guardian Greaves might help. Both are really good items. The poorest of them all. Mirror, mirror on the wall. That's Yavish. He's just chilling up top. I think he spent all of his gold in putting down wards and sentries and all this stuff. Like, look at the sentries from him. He's just poured his whole, whole heart and soul into this. This place, just put all his gold there. Just to get some vision up. And, well, he's certainly really poor. Can't even survive an E-Blade combo from Morphling. He's spending all of his gold into buying tomes and buying boards. So can't really blame him. He's behind on XP and everything. Up top. Dragon Knight. Yellow Blade up. Finished up in a Vault Curious. Let's take a look at items from Grave. What's it been they up to? Silencer. Look at a fourth staff. He's working towards getting an offering, which is amazing. Because it boosts everyone's damage by 40%, I think. Well... Okay, this might be a fight. Hold on to your horses. There we go. Dave's gonna get a call off on the edge. In comes the global. Yeah, bish. We'll survive. But the edge. No, we're surviving too. Now they're going to try and get some return kills. They see Dave, but can they really get Dave? That's a question. B, going forward. Getting out from the axe. Grand show. No one's gonna get caught out. And more or less, Brave is just gonna get the hell out of here. Oh, no vision there. What happened there? This is interesting. Don't delude yourself. Okay. So, from my understanding, I think Juggernaut went on to Tim's, killed him off. But then Alvin came and killed off the Juggernaut. And he jumped for 60 freaking seconds. Stop lane though. Oh, this is huge. They're catching out Dave. Dave's taking it out now. He's both times in the forward. Trying to get on the way. And oh, he comes Kev. Kev going on Harris. Harris taking a ton of damage. And he's falling fast. There we go. Dunk. There we go. And now, yeah, we under fire from Kev. Kev. He's put enough damage to kill them off. On the back end, he's surviving barely. And well, at least he's got Harris. Now, can he fling out of here? Nope. Silence. <laughs> got JPG. Ends up dying to the Thunder, sir. Ah, <sighs> 2 for nil. Okay, back to the items, guys. More fling. Monte. Turn up. Fling dagger, already saw it. Already know about the lance as well as the e blade and everything else he's got. Well, X has a Crimson Guard. And has a Sprint got anything? Well, he's gonna preserve, and so I wonder what he wants to make. I think a Lotus Orb or something of the sort. That's what he usually makes. Well, that's one like us. Doom. Opted to go for a Blink Dagger. Hmm. Not something you see, I'd, uh, ideally, on a support. But, okay. Okay. Might be for getting a Centaur and then getting an AoE stun. Uh, maybe it's thinking along that line, but the problem is. They're losing yet. Ah, oh, that was a little bit too soon. Yeah, just might survive this one. But on the back end, I think it's going to work on the Rexes. And those Rexes are gone. Okay, so I was saying about the Doom's Blink Dagger. Yeah, you might be thinking of getting like a AoE stun up because they seem to need some more stuns. They've only got like a stun coming out from the Beast Monster. And it's an ultimate, so it's not something in spam. Per se, and Juggernaut, Nando, he's pretty far behind in terms of items, only got a Blink Gagger, 
a Battle Fury, Manta, and Bethelon, and that's what I meant, like, the Battle Fury Juggernaut doesn't really seem to be working out in this meta, whatsoever. Oracle, what I just saw him, is the poorest of them all, pretty far behind, 1800 gold to his name, most of it spent on wards. Beastmaster, he's got his Blink Dagger, he's got Necro 3, so, even if he does initiate on anyone, the team fight from Brave is, is, well, frightening to say the least. The damage from DK, damage from the Axe, and the Morphling is just too darn great to face up against. And they can't even kill anyone, even if they do try their best. Like, Dave always just saves his teammates. Our spirit is there as well to stop with the stunts and everything. And they don't have BKBs. They might be making a play here on the back end. Fly Solo is gonna get caught out. But that's what I meant. They turned it around. They even dropped the Duke there. Dave coming in. We'll get. Or oh, look for a call. Won't find any. But they've lost two already. Got the three went call off. One dunk, two dunk, double kill. They will get more. B is gonna get stunned up as well. Right Lips are coming on. And look at that damage, man. Holy crap. He's gonna secure it with a triple kill. Killing Blade, and that's all she wrote, GG well played, this is it, guys, for the uh, round robin. That fun play over, we've gone through all of them, Ray winning up against... ...unlike us. Finalizing this game to 1-1. One, one. Tomorrow, we are gonna see a lot, actually just do best of three, we are going into our elimination bracket. They're going to start.